I'm down at the hangar, but today I'm not flying the PA-28 or Cessna 152. I'm doing my first aerobatics lesson with Hi-G in the Bulldog. Along with offering aerobatics training, Hi-G can also offer tail whip inversions on the chipmunk we have just here. But if you are feeling more adventurous, Hi-G now have a Strike Master aircraft, which you can go on at a very reasonable hourly rate. It's two ejector seats, a big engine, and it's good for 400 knots low level. I'm aiming to work towards my aerobatics rating, which is something I've wanted for a long time. To do the aerobatics rating, you've got to do either an approved course or be able to prove that you are eligible to be signed off, which could be past experience or it could be doing the AOPA basic course, which is what I'm going to do. This initial flight, we're going to do some maximum rate turns, some stalls, make sure I'm okay with the handling of the aircraft. And then we're going to go into doing some loops, half Cuban eights and barrel rolls. I have had a little bit of aerobatics training before, but nothing official, so it's really good to start the course today. Golf Delta Alpha Whiskey Golf at high G information, November QNH 1005, request taxi. Yeah. Golf Delta Alpha Whiskey Golf QNH, correct, just hold position. Hold position, Golf Delta Alpha Whiskey Golf. Yeah, come on, we'll clear from the top, so if you're seeing 23010, let's jump back on there. Everything's work where you need to reach it. What? That's that, what's that switch doing? That's bolts out. Golf after the Cessna 150. I just leave it on, the, on bolts. Side. Taxi initially, Bravo 4, the QNH is 1004. After Cessna 150, taxi Bravo 4 initially, Golf Whiskey Golf. All good on my side, and great work. That's Bob. Didn't quite see what that said. Got Charlie Tango, Taxi Echo 2, Bravo Charlie Echo. Bravo Charlie Echo, I've got to go. Okay, to turn to the left, we've got turn to the left, balls to the right. Golf likewise, Taxi Echo 2, Bravo Charlie Echo. Echo 2, Bravo Charlie Echo, Golf with a Golf. Golf with a Golf. Golf with a Golf, Echo 2, ready for departure. Golf, uh, Whiskey Golf, Squawk 0450, right, Echo 2, line up, one way to it. Squawk 0452, move by, Echo 2, up, line up to 8, Golf with a Golf. Right, both looks good, runway looks good, yeah. And Golf in the Lima Blackpool, confirm you're looking to route towards the Tolta. Have you noticed they don't give you a takeoff anymore, they're getting to line up? Line up always, yeah, I know. Hey, hey, Pema, we're going to Just to asking for someone to forget and go and get airborne, isn't it? Back to Bath and Golf in the Lima. What's your next report at the Tolta Tower turning southbound? Approach is clear. Golf, Whiskey Golf, runway 28 left turn clear for takeoff, surface wind 240 degrees, 9 or not? Runway 28 left turn out, clear takeoff, Golf, Whiskey Golf. 2409, getting lighter all the time. Okay, I'm going to rotate at 60 and then climb out at 8. Okay, eight that's there. good. Okay, heels on the floor. Feet. 
Sunday night coming up. Please come to the house, you can stick that off. And then all we're going to do is on the mixture, you yeah. know, we'll bring the mixture back. One and a half divisions, which should be roughly where the mark is on the computer. Okay, yeah. keep it full power. Yeah, it'll be full power. And you do it to the bottom of it, or the... Yeah, about... That one, yeah, that's about right. That one and a half divisions, that looks pretty good.
out area too, seems like we should have fun. Yeah, it's nice. We need to do shooting down there. Oh, really? They do go RPM full when we do this stall. Uh, yeah, for the recovery. Let's go RPM full. That's good. Everything else can stay the way it is. So, all we're going to do is just... Oh, right here. All looks clear, don't see anything down there. So, oh, it's not idle. Just, yeah, let's come back to idle. And as speed as you see, gradually bring the control column backwards. I trimmed about 60 and then I just hold it after that then. The speed reducing, attitude's increasing. I trim until 60, then I stop. Obviously, the high nose attitude, low reducing airspeed, sloppy controls, keep it coming uh, back beyond that. Okay, we would recover there, but we're not going to, we're going to keep it going. All one as long as we've ignored it. Get the stick pressure all the way back. Might put it on the back stops. Early the drop. Tiny wing drop, but pretty well behaved. And full power, two speeds are good for recovering, so. Not going to do anything, it's not going to do anything nasty to you. Fair surprise in that. And we don't didn't lose that much, and we kept it in the store for quite a while. Yep. A honest little aeroplane. Right, so we said we'll have a look at some max rate turns. So let's just uh, select 2,000 people, we're almost there anyway. And we can have a look at a couple of max. Do you want to go up to two and a half, sorry, or...? Nah, no, two's fine. Okay, fine. Well, I'll just use whatever height 22 is, or I'll use whatever height 22 is. So, on a max rate turn, obviously we're going to use full power. Roll at the walls. Roll is the cadence of that. Turn it down a bit. We're going to roll, full power, roll, with a little bit of rudder, pause, start the back pressure. And then we're just going to keep feeding the back pressure on until we get to the edge of the buffet. So follow me through, Ben. Oh, Show me. All looks, I'm going to go right first. So all looks clear, right. Full power coming on. All clear, roll, bit of rudder, pause, back pressure. And now we're going to just keep feeding that back pressure on. We get the stall warner, keep feeding the back pressure on. Attitude, height, attitude, speed, attitude, height. Notice, speed's starting to reduce, yeah. just on the edge of the bucket there. Speed's still reducing on the bucket. I'm not going to do any better than that, so the best I'm going to do. And to recover, release the back pressure, roll the bank off, Roger, and then just come back on the power. Makes sense? Yep. I lost a little bit of height, but... We're not too worried about flying the thing absolutely level, it's just trying to hold it roughly level, so yeah. don't, don't try and fly it like instrument flying, just, uh, just to make sure we're, give or take, uh, level-ish. Power coming on, turn your own time, whatever, whichever way you want. And that's the right. Yeah, just feel the buffer, can't you? Yeah, you feel the buffer, you fly forever on the buffer, but of course, that's the best you're going to do, because now you're just gradually bleeding energy. Yeah. So recover whenever you like. That's nice and level, if you want to do one to the left line, just need, need, need like the speed build up a little bit. And you can do the same thing down that way. Slightly different attitude, of course, because we're uh, offset seating. And just recover there. Let's pull it back up to 2,000, just have a very quick look at max possible, so that's max rate. Level, full power, on the buffet. You won't do any better than that. The only way to get any better turn rate than that is to now trade your height. Yeah. So you're going to overbag, let the nose drop, and then you're going to do a, a basically a helical descent. Again, holding the buffet. And that's the max possible uh, turn rate you're going to get out of the thing. Max possible uh, rate of turn. You won't do any any better than that. So if you can do it yourself, you don't need me to show you. So let's just start off going right. So what I suggest is, all clear, I just roll in, hold a level one initially. The roll, pause, back pressure, and just gently pull to get to the buffet. And now just over bank, allow the nose yeah. to drop, and as the nose drops, we lower that nose now. A little bit lower, over bank, a little bit more bank, let that nose drop, let the nose drop. Yeah. And that's the best you're going to do, just sending helical spiral. Hands for colour, release, and roll. Good. Right, let's pop back up to, I don't know, if we can make it 3,000, if we can't, yeah. two and a half. Happy with all of that? All makes yeah, sense? Happy. The application of max possible isn't really, as I said on the ground, isn't really that noticeable on pistons. It is better on jets, where you've got more height to play with. Um, but on a piston, there's a, a limited band you've got of, of energy to use anyway, so it is limited. And teeth piece are looking good. Yeah. It's all right, in the right place. We commanded it. Gap up here, please. <laughs> How are we doing in the field? Coming down, starting to get towards us. The 
Country, which is nice, a couple of, couple of gallons away, which is just perfect. So just updating the Hazelden Heights, still good airframe, as before, no changes. Security was still tight along with other articles. Checklist is still secure. Engine T's and P's are good. Notice that the cylinder head does get quite hot, but as long as it stays inside the red, we're all right. But after I've been doing a few errors, I normally just give the engine a bit of a cool. Uh, clear of active air, feels full of air, control there, special cloud, and we are looking out all the time. So if you want to just roll out, running down the river, then. Which we'll call the A axis for display practice later. This is this would be the A axis if our crowd was over there. And the first thing we're going to have a look at is a loop. So, okay. on the loop, full power, we talked about the entry attitude, 130 knots and then a ball. So, following it through, you've done it through, it's following it through, full power's good. There's our entry attitude about there. Yep. Look at 130 knots. All clear above us, it is. I use two hands. Nice positive pull. That's about the amount of pull, no more than that. And as we get towards the top, let's look back to the horizon, our wings are level, relaxing slightly, and as the nose comes through the horizon, just gradually increasing the pull. Pull, pull, pull. And I'm just going to raise the nose again just to get that height back with the speed. And then we can just start over again. You have control? I have control. You do a couple. Roger. See the P's are all good. High insufficient, and um, we are low in the nose. Looking for our pinky thing. Nice. F120, um, 130. Nice right, positive pull. Nice and straight, good man. Good. So, if you get back to this, we just hit that buffer to yeah. stop. If that happens, don't worry, just relax the back pressure very slightly. Which you did, it will come straight off the bucket and then you can re gently reapply. Right, that's just the wing telling you, you can't have any more lift, kid, that's all you're okay. going to get. The buffet is just the, as you know, the air breaking away from the wing. Because you're, uh, you're demanding lift from it, yeah. and it isn't going to give you any more. Right, come around the other way if you like, try the one. That's nice. Been a little clearing turn. Third descending turn just to build the speed. And we've got our A axis. That's on 20, 13. I know the action should be fast for that one, but it's information faster. And you can actually hold the point A close to you, from which you can fly around. Good. Good stuff, right. Oh, well, you want to just a uh, little turn around the line? And we'll. Uh, Barrel roll. Entry to the barrel roll exactly the same. Full power. Heels to the floor. Lower the nose. 130 knots. Raise when you feel it. Heels are pointing at the horizon. Keep the back pressure on. Start the roll. So, stay on the controls. Follow me through. Rolling out down the A axis again. Same entry attitude. Height's good. 130 knots. Again, start in the pull. Keep the pull going. Right, I feel my heels are on the horizon, keeping that back pressure on, and rolling, pulling, rolling, pulling, rolling, pulling, rolling, pulling, rolling. And as the horizon comes down to meet us again, just rolling the wings level, and back up to the horizon again. Watch out. All yours, so you have control. Back control. Got 130 again, do it. Alright, let's just pull the power back. 
the engine a chance to cool off. Right, next one we'll have a look at was the half Cuban, so we'll have a look at the half Cuban. Um, half Cuban, remember, same entry as before, lower than those 130, raising the nose, heels pointing the horizon, rolling upside down, pause, when our wings are level with the horizon, centralise everything and then gently pull through. So pulling through, okay. Here's and P's are good, how are we doing on the fuel? Still a little bit to go, that all looks alright, Here's and P's are all OK, alright. Lowering the nose, there's our entry attitude, 130 knots once again. All clear up above, 130 knots, raising the nose. Heels are on the horizon about there, check. Roll upside down, wings parallel the horizon now, check. And then just pull through. Okay, if you want to just follow me through, you go straight to the next one, you have control. Have control. Check about there, roll upside down. Wings parallel the horizon. Man. Okay, 130, go straight to another one. That's alright. Yeah, you can do it, plan for one. John can't remember which way the thing goes, I'd better just have yeah. a quick, quick run myself. Okay, I've got control on the air control. I think it goes left, let's find out. Put a big note in this copper when I do remember. They're all clear, right? Jesus, these are good, feels good. Well, yeah, I'm looking out to the left. For the wing, 90 degrees, which it is. It does go left. Vertical, centralised, and around we go. Right, can I just follow me through? All right, through. You have control, all your arms. Around to the left, I suggest. Back in the vertical. Wait for about 160. Full left rudder. And it goes. Good man. I'll try another one. Be my guess, that's good. Thanks everyone, we're ready for it. 